from this wizard, uh, we were able to generate the different type of the condition, different type of the model. And we made the case study with the different type of the uh, bridge composition. So one is simply supported model composed of 10 different decks. And the other one is composed of five decks, continuous bridge, two span continuous deck. And we compared the results between two. So when we have the simple span and continuous bridge span, we can see the different uh, maximum stress, maximum compressive strength. At its strength, at its uh, deck length is much longer. So that's why at its axial stress is also much larger. And we can see the maximum tensile stress occurred from the beginning of the deck and maximum compressible strength is occurred at the end of the deck. Also, this is the uh, comparison in the first stage and second stage. So in the first stage, when there is only the temperature load, we were obtaining the 26 compressible stress megapascal. And after applying the train load, then we, we have the 35 megapascal compressible stress. Uh, for your information, as I checked with the program, those stress is obtained only from the axial stress. This is the axial stress of the lane. But if some of the engineer wants to consider the bending stress as well, not only the axial stress, in this case, we can go to the combined stress and we can check the bending stress. The, we can include the bending effect as well for verifying the axial, uh, verifying the stress of the lane. And this shows the different um, uh, axial forces with the different position of the train. So as I mentioned, we can automatically consider the different model file with considering the moving of the train. So extra stress of the layer was verified which makes the most critical results. So with this way, I brought the results to the Excel and I compared. So with this way, we can simply compare and find the most critical uh, position of the train.